My name's Anne-Marie, I'm from MX Data and I just wanted to talk you through how we do what we do. So MX Data are a live content aggregator. We disseminate live dynamic content quickly and efficiently, but also offer some rich local search elements too. Uh, how we do that is through our platform enablers. So we've got the LDP, which is the local discovery platform, that's where the rich content is delivered. So we can pinpoint down to a local street corner, brand, uh, eat, sleep, drink scenario. Um, also we have MXI, which is our development platform. MXI is a rapid cross-platform development tool. It just makes us more efficient when we're talking to some of our brands and our consultant clients as well. If we look at any of these applications really, so our tube map, you can see just how quick the route planning is on here. So all of this is done within the LDP. You just pick a station out. Um, I'll pick a popular Houston one. Choose your destination point. Uh, Kilburn, we'll go with that. And calculate your route, and it's there already. So it's really quick. You can view it on the map as well, so it will show you the points. From that you can do line search, so all this is a direct feed from London Transport, so that we can see whether the lines are open or closed. Another one would be uh, our tube train, let's go with the train. Cross advertising from the platforms there, but again you would just look at your what's saved, what's stored, you can plan your journey, you can see what's coming into your local station. Nearest me now, so if you're lost and you're trying to find a station, then we'll be able to point you in the right direction. I heard that uh, besides the London Metro, you also did work for Barcelona? Yes, so we've got the Barcelona Metro up as well. If you want to see that, it's exactly the same really. So the Barcelona Metro, I'm just going to scale that out so you can see it clearer. The same. It's not built for the iPad, it's only built for the iPhone, so that's why it goes out of focus. But exactly the same structure. You'll forgive me because I have no idea about, but there you go. I've obviously picked a very short route there. Thank you so much. Okay. And the email is just extremely powerful because each time you reply, it's given its own card. Um, think about the way you work. The way you work, you have different replies open, we're constantly being interrupted. Right? I'm replying to an email, I got a new email that comes in, I want to reply to that one, I want to read it, um, an SMS will come in, I want to respond to that, someone will tell me about a web page, I want to look at the web page, um, that's the way we work, that's life. Right? You're constantly interrupted, WebOS lets you easily work the way you do, navigate between open applications, um, and be very productive. Okay, another thing you're going to be doing a lot of on Touchpad is photos. Okay, with a big 9.7 inch screen, um, it's a great canvas for showing off your photos. You get not only all the photos that you, excuse me, that you that you've transferred over to your device. Uh, we live in a connected world. Touchpad's a connected device, so you can also connect to your photos that are on the internet. Give you a quick demo of uh, showing just the, the kind of the, the, the ease it is just to send a message, a picture message, or a voice message, or a text message uh, between two phones or. You know, even between the, the desktops, basically between anyone. So we found each other because we were in the same chat group. But uh, there are options to find users uh, by location, or by their interest, or um, it could be something like a by gender search. So I'm, I'm now having a conversation with Sam. So I, I can send him a photo message. I'll send him a photo of Martin. Well caught there. There we go, streams it straight to the So that streamed the photo over to Sam's phone, which you can view. The other thing is, um, these messages will be stored in a history, so if Sam was offline when that message was sent, or if you wanted to look at it again later, you could look back at the conversation and see the photo again. Hi, my name is Daniela from Mobile Way. I'm going to explain to you about our platform for mobile payments. So what we offer is either through the web, through a point of sale device, or through your phone. 
and you can recharge top-up air service or you can send money from one phone to another phone, doesn't matter where you are, and you can pay basic services such as water, electricity. So we have an application like you can see here. So I'm going to do a demonstration. For example, you say you want to recharge for this um, operator, the number, and you say the amount. Fifty dollars. They say okay. So it's processing and it's instant. You're processing the transaction. It says transaction completed. So now my money went down. And that's it. It's very simple to use. So what we are doing is actually we are demoing here a telco app store. Uh, telco app stores are mostly for operators to build their application stores because currently what's happening is you know all operators are losing money by giving all their revenue to Apple, Google and Android uh, marketplace. So the idea here is you know you build an app, app store but the key is you know how do you discover. So that's where the discovery is happening through USSD. So that's the whole USSD discovery. So you can you can see what are the top rated apps. If you go to top rated apps, then you can see all the top rated apps. You can see all the uh, applications that are there. Okay. So that's the whole idea. Is there where we have a lot of developers kind of build developer communities on that. Okay. How, how can it be so helpful to telecommunication? Because it will actually help them to uh, uh, develop community communities. Uh, developer communities. It will help. It will also help to kind of create a whole their own local applications, you know, so, the, so you're actually creating, you know, entrepreneurs who get smaller companies to build applications, so it's a great, great tool. Does it need to be present, uh, like, physically in a different country? No, no, you, you can host it, because the whole thing is a cloud service, so you can, you can host it as a cloud, and then actually you can uh, take it from there, you know, so you can, you don't need to kind of have it present. Right. Okay? Thank you. Uh, we are the iHealth Lab, INC. We are the first ever. You can use your iPhone, iPad to test, track, graph, share your blood pressure. Yeah. This is uh, totally first ever. And uh, I heard that New York Times hailed it uh, as the top four coolest gadgets. Yes. The New York Times is we are launch this product in CES. And the New York Times say this is the top four cool products in CES. So can we have a demo please? Yes. The very easy is to start. So you just wear the arm uh, thing and then it records. Yeah, you, you just use the calf and use the dock, your iPad, and then to show the result. Yeah, this is the result. So, what the result mean? You can just uh, slide. Yeah, it's in according to the WHO, you are normal blood pressure. And also, this is the wave of your pose. And also, you just uh, touch. Just tell you what is systolic, what diatonic, what this, and also what this. And also, you can. So this is the history. By the orchestra right. and a graph. You also can graph your measurement. Yeah. Graph. And also you can share email to your doctor. Yeah. And also you want to know more information about blood pressure in FOQ, FAQ. You can see everything. I see. So it's quite comprehensive yeah. information about your yeah. health. This is a totally personal health care it's, uh, it's basically about blood pressure. Yeah, now it's basically blood pressure. This is a personal health care. Take control yeah. of your personal health care with mobile platform. Hello. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm from Cologne, representing Life Results. We're doing mobile market research. And I'm basically here to, to get new updates on uh, new opportunities for, uh, to use for market research, to see what's possible in location and uh, tracking, and to get new network contacts and uh, yeah, get updated on new developments concerning apps and smartphones. So what did you find most interesting right now? Um, 
right now Blackberry World is very cool. They share a lot of corporations and they have uh, really interesting stuff to see. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Brendan Lyle from Ad Knowledge uh, in San Francisco. Uh, we're a mobile uh, monetization and distribution company. Um, me and uh, my colleagues here, and we're here with one of our VPs as well, uh, looking for applications and developers uh, to integrate our uh, iOS and Android SDK uh, for monetization of their uh, applications and games. This is an example of our App Engine uh, uh, development mashup framework. And what it allows us to do is it allows us to create uh, certain events, and those events could be call controls, they could be location of somebody's presence, uh, it could be the initiation of an SMS or an IM message, and then through this environment, we're very, um, it's very easy for us to create a certain set of rules that direct or control how those events are going to be handled. And they can either be managed through common call control, such as a simple call routing from one number to another, or something more complex where we may take a call and send that information off to Facebook. Hi, my name is Steen. I work with Endomando, which is a sports tracking company. We do applications which support all mobile platforms. I'm um, just going to give you a quick walk through our website so you can see how the service is linked to the website. Thank you. Okay, what I'm um, going to start off with is that we focus a lot on uh, the community, friends, challenges and stuff like that. So basically you get a news feed on the website, you can see your performance, highlights, which is challenges. If I go to challenges, you can actually see, you can get an overview, you can go to this challenge, more than 9,000 people are participating. Obviously the website isn't that fast here, the connection isn't that good. So how does it work? So you download this application? Yeah, you download the application from uh, any market. We support all mobile platforms. You just download it. We have a free version and, and we do have a paid version as well. Just download it and you're all set. Link it to Facebook and it automatically finds your friends as well.